G'day folks, still cycling the aquaponics system and I thought I'd just bring you along to show you how it's going, give you a bit of an update on it and also too, just to do a bit of a demonstration we might um, just try to adjust the camera here had someone pull me up on the way I was using these um, test kits uh, basically saying that adding drops like this one, two, three, four, five with the bottle sideways is going to give me an inaccurate reading so what is suggested is you invert the bottle like this straight down one, two, three, four, five, and that way you will get a more accurate reading. So I thought I'd just do a comparison for everyone today, and uh, just to show you, as well as the update. And for you folks who um, aren't aware, I actually have a number of aquaponic clips. You can check out, there'll be a link popping up there, and also one at the end of the clip as well, uh, just on starting off your own aquaponic system. Now for the ammonia, bottle number one, Vertical first, and then sideways, and now for bottle number two, vertical first, and sideways. Now what they're saying is you get a different size drop, uh, basically whether you have it vertically or sideways. So that's pretty much what we're testing out here. Now we'll just give these guys a bit of a shake as well, just so you can see I'm shaking them evenly and pop them back there. We'll wait five minutes and have a gander at the results. So we'll check back on those guys in a few minutes. But while we wait, I thought I'd just give you a bit of a gander at this. I planted out three flat leaf parsley the other day and also six uh, lettuce. I've had a few people ask how I plant out in the aquaponic beds and it is pretty easy. I use this little ring here and use that to um, create a little void that I can pop the seedlings in. So what you do is you push the tube down, in this case it's a 4 inch or 100 mil one, into the media, dig out the media, and then you pop in the plant. Now what I like to do is generally wash off the loose soil around the roots of the plant, then pop it in the tube, pull the tube up, and that means that the uh, long dangly roots will reach well down deep into the bed, and then yeah, you just backfill with the clay. Now with the lettuce over the back there, I didn't wash their roots out, mainly because they're a little bit more advanced and the root system had encapsulated most of the potting mix. So when those guys are ready to pull out, um, yeah, the soil that was on them when they went in will still be encapsulated within their roots. Uh, not that it's a huge issue anyway in a little backyard system like this, but yeah, just thought I'd mention that quickly. Just down there in the base of the sump, you might be able to see those little sausage-like formations on the base. They're midgefly larvae. Well, the midgeflies look a lot like mosquitoes and people mistake them as mosquitoes a lot. But the larvae aren't a huge issue. They set up shop, feed off a few of the nutrients in the solids and then, yeah, um, pupate and fly away. The warrigal greens over the back there are doing fantastically well. They've actually put on a fair bit of size. So pretty happy about that. And Lizzie is busy nuzzling the dirt. What are you doing, Lizzie? You found something to munch. Anyway, back to the test now. We'll pull these guys out and we'll have a look at their colour oh, just with a white board to begin with and I really can't see much of a difference there whatsoever and just for you folks interested in the cycling you can probably make out, I can put one of these down you can probably make out, you're sitting round about if we bring it into view probably uh, that we're sitting about 0.25 parts per million or milligrams per litre so that's pretty much where you would expect um, an aquaponic system to get no higher than 0.25. You'll always get a little bit of trace ammonia in a system. The nitrite, on the other hand, still isn't going down. Actually, I'll show you both of these together first before we look at the reading. Just so we can see that there basically is not much of a difference there either. They've pretty much all come out exactly the same. And just to give you a bit of a look on the chart... We can see that we're sitting oh, between, oh, actually might have gone up a bit, might be between one and two parts per million. So I'll keep an eye on that. Uh, as for the nitrates, couldn't test them here because I only have the four test tubes. So we'll do that quickly now just to show you what the levels are. But first I need to go and wash these little fellas out. So with the test tubes, I like to rinse them out with some system water first, then fill them up so the water is just above the line like this. And then to bring it down to level, just give it a bit of a gentle flip. It's a bit hard to do because I'm looking through the monitor. I'll go around the monitor. Just a bit of a gentle flick. And you get a little bit out at a time. And you might be able to make out that that one there is right on the 5mm mark. So that's pretty much all what we want. 
So we'll just pop this here for now and bring it around, show you that it's uh, five mil. Now with the nitrate, uh, bottle one is pretty easy. You just give it a bit of a shake like the other bottles before you add them and you add your 10 drops in. With bottle number two though, you're supposed to shake for 30 seconds beforehand, give it a vigorous shake. And that's because some of the testing particulate um, actually uh, falls out of suspension, as I understand it. So I just got to um, give it a bit of a shake so it all combines again. I won't put you through the whole 30 seconds. So there we go, that's enough. Now we'll pop in bottle number one. And this is 10 drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now bottle number two, the same deal, oh, we'll give it another shake just for good luck, there we go. And bottle number two, ten drops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and no I don't always count, that's just for the camera. <laughs> and then we pop the lid on and we shake it for about a minute, which I'll just pull the camera back for, because I don't want to do it over the top of the aquaponics system, but yeah, just invert it a few times and give it a bit of a shake for about 60 seconds the book says. Now in all honesty um, I shake it for about 15 seconds and I've done the test before and I found it mixes it just as well as if I do it for 60 seconds. So um, take from that what you will. Please follow the guidelines API give you but yeah that's just the way I do it. And we'll just uh, pop that back up there and let it rest for five minutes. So it's been about five minutes and we'll have a bit of a gander. I don't know how well you guys can work that out, but looking at it from here, definitely between 40 and 80 parts per million. So more than enough nutrients for what is in the system at the moment. Now, uh, some folks would be tempted to plan out a few more bits and pieces to make use of that extra nitrate. I'm using the fish emulsion, so there's more than just um, nitrogen-based um, inputs going in. But I have a feeling that Warrigal Green, there's actually two of them there, they're going to absolutely take off with this milder weather, even though we're supposed to get 35 on Saturday. So yeah, um, I don't really want to plan out too much more. We'll just see how these plants go and just monitor the um, nitrate once a week uh, just to see what the levels are sitting at. So as you can see, there's pretty much well, no difference at all as to whether you invert the bottle or put it sideways. As far as I'm concerned, uh, you guys take from this clip uh, what you will. But I did think it'd be interesting just to show you folks um, how the cycling process is going anyway. It's been roughly a week since I shot the last clip and we're not seeing a lot of movement in that nitrite figure. So hopefully it will start to come down. So there's obviously some form of uh, nitrite oxidizing bacteria in there. Otherwise we'd see an ever increasing amount of nitrite in the system. And yeah, we wouldn't see such an increase in the nitrate, which I am very happy to see by the way. So I do hope you found this clip to be helpful. And don't forget there is that playlist on um, starting out an aquaponics system. There'll be a link down below in the description and also at the end of the clip if you want to suss that out. Quickly, I'd like to thank all you folks supporting us over on the various websites, the Farm Your Own Yard supporter website and also the YouTube membership program. Thank you very much, folks. Please check out the super contributors linked in the description below. And I've got to get ready to shoot a veggie pod clip. Do hope you have a top weekend and I'll catch you later. Cheers, all.